Welcome to another episode of the GSAT Track How To Series. In this video, I'm going to cover with you the new walkthrough feature that's been added to the portal to make it easier for first time users and those users who want to brush up on how the portal works, accessibility to the portal, and all the visualizations that go along with it. So let's get started. First, we took the help link that was located inside your profile and moved it to this outside bar. Now, when you click on the question mark, we have help, which will take us to our wiki with all of the information regarding the various devices we might be viewing and interacting with, but we also have the new powerful walkthrough. By clicking on the walkthrough, we begin the process of going through the various items that we want to review so you can get in and quickly use the system. You're able to opt out if you'd like, but by clicking next, we start to go through these processes. And of course, you can always come back and do them again. You also have the option, if there's a particular piece that you want to view, you can do that as well. But I'm going to come back to where we were just at and get started there. So here, you also can see that we are discussing things with a given name. So main navigation. The reason this is important is not necessarily what you call it, but what we call it. So if you have a technical issue, you can discuss something like main navigation, and we'll know exactly what you're talking about. Here, we're also discussing what's located in the main navigation. So you have our menu button and various other pieces, what you can do with these and how we can interact with them. We showed you the profile just a moment ago. We also have the navigation bar, which clearly lets us see all of these different pieces and how we can interact with them. Next, what mode we're in, whether we're in live mode or history mode. Now we've got our list panel of all of our groups and devices. If I go ahead and expand them out, we can see more information. We're also able to search through these for various devices or information that we may have connected to a particular device that we've added to the portal. Next in historical view, we can set the time range. We're also able to see the various groups. Right now I'm looking at all assets, but there are the others here, logistics, also what the icons mean, the notification indicators, which is a very important piece of the portal, what these mean, how they are referenced, the icon, which is also a good way to get to our quick menus. Here we have our details panel telling us all the information regarding a various device or a group of devices. Next, if we want to go to uh, jump through devices. This is a really powerful feature. If you're trying to make quick changes to several different devices, you can rotate through them through the jump navigation button. You also have the options tab to configure the notifications tab, which let us know how many positions have come in, in the period that we're looking at. Then as you can see, it's a little grayed out, but all of the actual positions themselves. Next we're in map view. what mode we're in. This is really important, whether we're in the historical mode or if we're in the live mode, which is where we're at now. So you understand the information that's coming in, what it looks like and how it's processed. You don't have to be concerned whether you're in historical or live mode, just now it's indicated there very easily. Our map tools, how we can access them. And then finally, if we just wanna get started, we're all good. Or if we'd like, we can go back and watch the video again. There you go, that's the newest feature, walkthrough, that's been added to the portal. It makes everything very simple. Of course, there's a lot more to this system than that little piece, but it does give you a way of quickly accessing the portal, getting in there, and getting started to view the information that's important to you right away. Thank you very much, and I look forward to our next video.